Hey everyone and uh, welcome back to uh, another video. So I'm back in the van today. So this morning I went uh, B&Q, took some stuff back that I didn't need for a refund and obviously picked some other stuff up. So uh, literally today my job was uh, to crack on and cut the hole for the, uh, the, the gas hob. And then I've got to try and convert the gas hob, take the filaments out and then fit like the LPG ones in so I'm just doing that now so I, I didn't want to video the the actual curtain of the hole because it was barbaric as such but I've done it it fits so I'm going to flip the video around and show you what I've done so far so stay tuned so I've cut this hole here so literally uh, that's my new gas set so let me just put the, the video down so this now fits snugly into the hole as best I could get it so all I've got to do now is put the seal around and I've got to figure out this part here and I've had to get my glasses because obviously the writing's so small and I've got to try and fit these into the gas hub for the natural gas to LPG conversion and then I need to get a friend of a friend to come in and just can do the connection part for me to the hob. So that's the hob in, nice and snug and secure. So all I need to do is obviously fit this, fit the connectors underneath uh, once it's all wired in. So my next job then is uh, to fit the uh, sink. So my sink has arrived. Let me just grab this for you. And that is my tiny little sink. So my sink has arrived, it's tiny, but it would be perfect for in here. So I've, I've got to cut that hole as well at some stage to get the sink in, might do that tomorrow. Uh, my plan is then to get like a chopping board and get a, a, a grouter or whatever they call, and then just cut a circle hole inside the uh, chopping board so it, it literally sits on top and covers over so I've still got a chopping board surface that I can just take on and off of the sink once it's in and then I've just got to buy a tap but I've got everything else um, there's the waste pipe for the wastewater and I've got a 12 volt pump that obviously I need to connect in at some stage so that can go straight into uh, one of the water containers underneath so that's my plan that's what I've been doing today so I'm just going to crack on with this uh, converting um, these things into here. So I need my glasses to read for any instructions and then clean up, tidy up and then do the end of the video. So that's what I've done today. Stay tuned. So welcome back. Uh, cut the hole, that's the sink in. I've just got to secure it now put the waste pipe in and all that sort of stuff and then um, we're good to go so that's what I've done so far so I've changed the uh, these to LPG nozzles so all now that's got to be done I haven't secured it as yet is uh, get the gas fitter out <clears throat> so they can connect it up and then we've got to take these off uh, which I've done already uh, readjust the gas flow from there and that's what it says in instructions and then they're good to go we can put the burners back on covers and that's the hob fitted and secure underneath and now all i've got to do is secure that underneath here uh, from the inside and then eventually get a tap so that's what i've been doing bit messy but it's all good getting there so welcome back so i have keep saying so a lot so there's the gas hub uh, the jets have been changed all I've got to wait for now is a gas fitter to come in and connect it to the LPG which obviously I'm not qualified to do and I want to make sure it's correct but that's the hob in it just needs securing underneath once the, obviously the piping has been done so um, but that's pretty much changed now for LPG use so that's my gas hub um, sinks in all secure i did damage a bit of the uh trim here so i've just put some glue uh, in the back but that's all nice and secure um, and piped in for now. obviously i haven't got a tap as yet but literally underneath 
that just goes straight into a waste um, jerry can and obviously I can put my uh, fresh water and wastewater jerry cans inside there so that's it done for now so that's what I've been doing today so my next job I think uh, oh sorry what else have I been doing today let me just show you in here uh, this is the uh, storage area so I bought some cheaper polystyrene insulation so I've just back insulated it all uh, all I'm going to do is literally paint that tomorrow while waiting for the gas start painting around here in the in the color I've got and then I've got my fabric so I could literally um, start making the box seat again even better so that's it pretty much done inside there insulated and stuff so that's happy sinks in kitchens in just need a tap which I can put over here somewhere and then I'm good to go so and obviously get the gas man in job done just need to clean up tidy up and I've used a lot of kit today so get in there so that's what I've been doing today gas hob sink insulating the uh, box seat that we did yesterday in the lid uh, tomorrow's job obviously painting and stuff like that so we'll just keep working and working and working uh, apart from that thanks for watching stay safe don't forget to like comment subscribe and all that malarkey and i will see you all on the next video pretty soon so stay safe take care and i'll see you later Bye bye